welcome to my mama's <laughs> mom made me laugh Hello, welcome to Mammal's Life. I thank you so much for joining me today. And let's see, what I have to say is, I know I look like a dork. I know I sound like a dork. There it is. <laughs> I can laugh at myself more than anybody else can laugh at me. But it was due to some a couple, not just a couple comments that I recently received and they weren't mean. Um, I, I think, and I hope they were just trying to be helpful. Um, other people in the chat kind of told this woman, you know, you're, you're rude, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, they came to my defense, which is always greatly appreciated. Um, one thing I've learned after watching all the SPTV nations is they come together for the most part as, as a family. And they, always, all of them want to create that safe space. And wow, it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. So anyway, this person had said a couple things that I should try wearing makeup and I should dye my hair and I should get to the point. You know, <laughs> I appreciate, you know, that if you're, if what you were trying to do is be helpful. I have only not worn makeup in the beginning of doing videos, maybe a couple times. I'm wearing makeup now. I wished I could do this. I have wrinkles, so I'm not going to put on some heavyweight foundation because from what I've learned, that just draws out all your wrinkles. So I use a very lightweight, thin liquid foundation. Um, sometimes I wear a mascara, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wear a, I don't like bright colored lipsticks, not on me. So mine are more like cinnamon, you know, kind of colors. And so, and as far as my hair goes, I, I want, this is also kind of a review for people who have not watched my past videos. So let's just jump right into the review and then we'll talk about my hair. So I got sick in 2005. I'm going to try to just cut to the chase. If you want to more, know a little more detail, you can watch my very first video called The Introduction. But I got sick in 2005. No one could figure out what was wrong with me. I was undiagnosed for, I'm still undiagnosed for what happened to me in the beginning. Nobody knows why my hands were dying. Nobody knows why it penetrated through my whole body with pain. And then the brain issues started, which includes short-term memory loss, problems processing information, and, um, speech. My speech is affected. So, um, anyway, through the years, um, it was very devastating when I had to quit working. I mean, I had to quit working the day, um, my hands, um, when, the, when it all started with my hands, I couldn't type and I did a lot of computer work. And so, um, it got to, after a year, I was falling, I started falling down all the time. I was dropping things all the time. I mean, all the time, every day, throughout the day. And, and the brain issues started kicking in and they didn't know why. Um, I seen many different specialists of every kind. And so with my brain problems, I had asked my doctor, can I take um, 
I had heard of this uh, cognitive rehabilitation people do when they have strokes. I've never had a stroke, but that was what came to my mind at the time. And my doctor said, they don't really do that with people like you, but just start doing things a lot every day that challenge your brain. And so I don't have as many books as I used to, but I've got a lot of books. And I started reading, I read every day. Sometimes I'd whip through a book in a day. I started playing games on the computer. I was doing Sudoku, but I, um, I got a book, a Sudoku book, but I needed to use a pencil because I could never get it right. Numbers became my worst enemy. And so later on in 2018, I felt that I could go back to work, um, which I did. It's the same company, grocery store I work for now. And I became an online shopper because I knew the value of movement when pain is, con where pain is concerned because movement does help pain to a point. And so it was a great job back then. They don't, they didn't have the big carts they have now. We only did a shopping cart and we did one customer at a time. I could do that. But when they changed to these big carts and different, so many different customers, I, my brain couldn't keep up. No matter how much I try, it, my brain can't keep up with that. Um, so anyway, they gave me a, they gave me a different position and I was doing that up until COVID. And then after COVID, they pretty much got rid of my, my department. Not, it wasn't really a department, but I, I did food samples at that time and they got rid of it completely. And so then I, they switched me to another department and then I was working, but my pain got so bad. I was doing, actually I, I got switched to two, di I worked in one department then that was just too much for me. And then I went to another department and that ended up just, the pain was unbelievable halfway through my day, which I was only doing six hours, but man, the pain level was, it was just excruciating. So 15 months ago, I went in and I put in my notice, which they would not accept. They put me on an extended leave of absence. And so I got a whole new team of doctors. Well, except for my family doctor. He was still fairly new, but I've had him for uh, about a year and, well, close to two years. And so I end up going uh, back to work recently. And sure enough, they did still have me on the schedule, which <laughs> they're just wonderful. I was even talking to, well, I've said this on another video. I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, so about the hair dyeing stuff. I was a poor girl pretty much before I couldn't work 15 months ago. And... But I, I did, I did okay. I did okay. But when you take away the, and yet, yes, let me back up. I am on disability. They, back after my illness started a year after that, um, I applied for disability. They sent a disability doctor to check me out. They went through all my other doctor's statements and they gave me disability right away. And so, um, doesn't mean you can't work. You're still allowed to work and earn so much money. I've never been able to earn the amount of money that social security allows you, uh, cause I just can't work that much. And so, um, but I did, uh, I am able to work. I I have limitations. And like, 
if people see me, they you wouldn't think I was disabled. Unless you're, you hang out with me for a day, trust me, you'll go, what the heck? <laughs> Probably thinking I need, it, I need someone to live with me to help me. I don't, no, not yet, thank God. But I mean, I can, I can lift things and run around the yard and jump on a trampoline. I can do backflips off of a diving board at the pool. You know, I can't do these things very long. I can only be physically active so long and really physically active for much shorter. <laughs> and so I, being off work this past 15 months, I have, it's been a financial struggle for me. My daughters had to, you know, help me out at towards the end of the last week of the month. You know, um, bless her heart. She's, um, my family's all there for me if needed. And, uh, but, you know, and that's why I can't afford, haven't been able to afford to dye my hair on a regular basis. However, I am back to work now, and I will be able to once again start dyeing my hair on a regular basis. I am looking forward to the day where I don't want to. It's not a need. I know it's because I want to. A little bit of vanity in there, maybe. But the women in my family end up, they go from a, some salt and pepper to pure white hair. My mother had beautiful white hair. My grandmother did. And um, I have white hair right in here. And I'm waiting to get more white hair. Doesn't have to be completely. I just want a little bit more. And then once I get that, I'm going to stop dyeing my hair. I try to dye my hair. Um, I actually mix a couple different dyes because I'm trying to get it to my natural color, uh, which was a strawberry blonde, but I can't really find, they have a dye called strawberry blonde, but that doesn't look like what my hair looked like when I was young. I have pictures and I remember. And so, um, so I actually have to buy two bottles <clears throat> two different colors and mix them. And I only do the roots. But anyway, that's why my hair looks the way it does is because I haven't been able to afford to dye. And so, but that's over with. I will be, like I said, back to being able to dye my hair again on a regular basis. And the other point that this person made was uh, I need to get to the point. Well, it doesn't always have to be about or all about my brain issues. Before, way before I even got my illness, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes it, I would go the long way to get to the point. I'm a talker. I'm a yacker. And so I, uh, uh, I remember one time thinking I wanted to improve myself and I thought, you know, I need to stop yakking and I do need to get to the point. You know, I, I'll be telling somebody something and I'll go into detail and stuff. So I backed away from that and I stopped doing that. And no sooner do I stop doing that than people start saying, well, what about this? And what about that? And they just started asking me questions all because I didn't take the long way around and I didn't tell them the details. And so then I just went back to just being myself, just chatting away. People that love me don't care. We laugh about it. I, la I laugh. I can, like I said, I can laugh at myself. 
sometimes my <laughs> my uh, one of my family members will mention the fact that so mamma what's your point <laughs> Uh, gotta, gotta love my grandkids. So, you know, I realize this about myself and, you know, and part of it is because of my brain issues. Um, I will forget, even if I'm, I've, I've been trying to make somewhat of a bullet point, but I will forget to put things on there that I do want to say. So then I'll go off on this story or go off on that story. All I can say is I will try to do better. Um, it's this whole YouTube thing is a learning experience for me. I, I have noticed that I do a lot of flipping my hair and adjusting my glasses and moving my hands all over the place. This is a nervous um, reaction. This is, I'm nervous. I'm a little uncomfortable staring into a camera and talking, you know, without the other person being right here. Um, this is a new thing for me. I hope I will get better. I hope I will get more relaxed more comfortable, more confident. Um, I will not let this stop me from having a YouTube channel. I don't believe anybody, um, especially with disabilities, should not have their own channel. I will not let that deter me. Deter me? <laughs> Something me? <laughs> so... I just, uh, I welcome comments. I welcome cr uh, constructive criticism. As long as you're nice about it, I'm okay with it. Um, if, if they're nasty comments, I will delete them. Um, those comments don't belong. See what I mean? Those comments don't belong in my world. So, but I appreciate all the wonderful comments. I do appreciate people sticking up for me and coming to my defense. Um, it's lovely. I think it's very lovely. Anyway, I think it's best that going forward, watching my videos, I think it's best if you all go back and watch my very first video called The Introduction. And you'll get to know me a little bit. You'll get to know who I am, what I've been through, how I ended up where I'm at now. And I think that would be greatly beneficial to you. And then once you've watched that, you have comments that uh, are helpful. I'm always looking for um, suggestions, whether it be uh, suggestions for me health-wise, um, that's always greatly appreciated, you know. So anyway, I wanted to pop on and tell you all, I do know I'm a dork. <laughs> Anyone want to join the dork club? All is welcome. And anyway, I want you all to have a wonderful day, and I appreciate all of you. And thank you. Thank you so much for, for being here. Always remember to be kind. Goodbye, y'all.